Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that dial. We have a show here today. It's great, great show. And ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about a healthy show, something to uh, uh, keep people uh, healthy and uh, their, their diet. This is the whole thing. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I had someone here that uh, helps out uh, as far as the uh, the menu, what you're going to have for uh, your holiday, especially with Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, I, my guest today is Anthony Piazza, and uh, he is the owner of Plymouth Produce right here in Norristown with Logan. Well, tell me where it's located. Uh, we're located at uh, 258 Johnson Highway at Studio Center in Norristown. That's where they're going to make the studio where all Hollywood stars yeah. are going to come. Right? You're already a star now. That's right. So, so now what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about fruit. Now, I see got all different kinds of fruit here. I, I don't know. That's, I, I don't know. We have to go to some island someplace to get the... See that's that? A, I don't know what that is. That's a Mexican I don't avocado. Know. I know. Well, what is that? This is a Mexican avocado. It's called a Haas avocado. And what do you do with that? Now, um, you cut it up? Yeah. Well, this is good for guacamole. And um, right now, it's in its middle stage of uh, ripening. Uh, as you see, it, it's green. It starts out green, and it starts getting um, a dark Darker. texture. I see it. And as it's getting dark, that's when it's good, good. more ready to more ready to eat. Okay. So uh, it's be basically ready to cut when uh, you know. See when you do that, they can open that up real oh. nice and easy. That's a manja manja. See that? And, and what do you what do you do? You just well, this is good to uh, nice salt and pepper with a little bit of lime. Um, they can be eaten just like this. Just like that. Um, yeah, well, we it's got some very delicious, and with <laughs> some tomatoes, you know, very okay. nice for... Um, okay, all right, how about this? We've got a lot of fruit here. We want to get it yeah. in within a half hour. This, what, is a, um, this is a pomegranate. It's uh, very nice throughout this season. Um, the pomegranate is, um, became very famous in the last few years um, because of the juicing factor. Oh, okay. um, they're doing a lot of juicing with these now, Hank. Okay. Uh, all the all the health freaks, uh, you know, everybody's yeah. juicing this. And uh, so, what do you do? You cut it? Do you well, chew it to the like easiest an apple? way. A lot of people, you know, tend to break it apart. But okay. I just recently found out that uh, the easiest way to do this would be to take one right. side here, right. cut one on the other side, uh -huh. lay it on your cutting board. Okay. And then you take your knife and just go down. That knife is sharp. You gotta be careful. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh See, man. You make your cuts down and okay. down the pomegranate. Right. All the way around it. And then that you can eat that and just like that. Eat it well, raw. It don't cook it or anything, right? Well, the easiest thing is yeah. then this will just peel right oh. off easily. So instead of making a mess, oh See, okay. this will peel off nice oh, and okay. easy. And you that. eat that like that? Well, I never you, ate them. You things. eat these. Um, where, where did they come from? This is from California. Oh, yeah? And um, well, I, I, I go by your place and I see all these trucks, big tractor trailer trucks. They come from all over, right? Yes. We, we, we're getting stuff from all over the world right now. Um, well, they right can fly now. They stuff in within five hours from South America, right? Yep. Yeah, there's some stuff in all from All right. South what else? What else we got here? Now, look, you know. Now this is a banana, right? But it's a different kind of banana as this one. Where's that banana over here? Yeah. I don't want to knock everything down here. But well, well, this is your traditional eating banana. Okay. Now this is um, this is a, the traditional eating banana, right. which right. is, you know, this is in its mid stage of ripening. Right. Now um, a good tip in the store is. If you see the banana not coloring properly, that's due to um, the banana has been refrigerated or has oh. gotten cold. So oh, if you okay. see that grayish look on okay. the banana, not a bright yellow, that's a tendency of knowing that. Wait, the, run that by me again now. If, if, if um, I see this banana, I go in the store. And I, you see it where it's a darkish, well, it has sort of a grayish, oh, a grayish way, yeah. yellow. That gray, grayish color is um, the banana being in a cold environment. The and, then, proper, and, then in, and then when hot and cold. Well, yes. Yeah. The proper temperature for the banana is the minimum 55 degrees. Oh, okay. 
Now this here, what's this banana? This is a plantain banana. Where'd that come from? Same place. Um, same area. This is from Guatemala. This one here. Uh huh. Now this is on the green side. This here, they um, it's a it's a Spanish food. Uh huh. And um, you, you eat that like you do the other banana. No, no, no. You, you cook, cook these, Hank. You yeah. cook it with the spaghetti? No, 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 not with the spaghetti. <laughs> I got a little <laughs> sauce in there, baby. Arroz con pollo. Oh, I got to put some sauce in it, eh? Yeah. Uh, well, they cook, the, um, the Spanish, they cook these. Um, when they get more yellow and very dark on the outside, oh, okay. you can cook these and um, they fry them in oil. Oh, yeah? Or you can bake them at the green stage the way this oh. is right now. Okay, better try. Okay, now... I go into a store and I see it. I, I don't know one from another. I see people uh, uh, open up. Uh, 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 let me see. Let me put this over On here. the uh, yeah, they come over here and they start tapping it and smelling it. Now, how do I know it's a, it's a good cantaloupe? How do, how do I know that? Well, with the cantaloupe, it should be firm all around. Okay. And uh, more of a tendency to have yellow inside the inside the um, the veins right. of this. Okay. And this is called the netting. Is that a pretty good one there? Yes, this will be very right. good. How about cutting? Let us know what it looks like. Um, on the netting, the netting... Is that what you call netting? Yes, the netting yeah, is yeah. the out, this outer shell. As you see it, it's sort of a yeah. net that holds the skin on. Okay. So inside of the net, you look for a tendency more yellow. The oh, cantaloupe will be oh, sweeter. I see. Well, now I see here... Even okay. though this is a greener right. one, um, this um, will still be, since it's a Del Monte cantaloupe, their sugar content is uh, higher than um, most of the other companies. It's a number one label, oh, yeah. and their sugar content will be a lot. Um, give, it, give it a slice. Now, an happens. easier way to uh, cut this is, again. Well, give me a little tricks, ladies and gentlemen, look, on how to cut it so you don't, you know, see, don't cut we want to cut the, the bottom at the at the one right so it, it leaves you a flat good and then okay and then i cutting. like to cut the top off also right so now, then that's a good we take idea. the knife and we cut right down along oh, the skin oh okay See? right down along oh, the skin okay. and in other words and and you notice that your hands are not in the way right and you just take the knife right along that edge okay and then you'll be left with, see, and then you can flip it back over onto right. this side. Okay. And you trim this off the same way. Uh huh. And in a couple yeah. minutes, you're all skinned, ready to go. Ready to go. You gotta be careful with your fingers. Oh, yeah, no, job. but if you just run that knife, mm -hmm. you, it will run right along the skin. Okay. And then you have one nice big piece of fruit. Right. So then you and then you can cut it any any direction well, you want to go. Then you cut it right. and then deseed it from the inside. Right. But it's an easy way without right. showing it. See? Yeah, right up that way. So you have a nice piece of fruit. Cut it down. Take the seeds out, and then you're ready for dicing. Ready to then. roll. Okay. Now what else we got? We got another. Fancy now the fruit. honeydew. How about the okay. honeydew? Now the honeydew should be, as you can see here, the um, honeydew is more on the yellowish side. Okay. You see, when the honeydew's on the green side of right. the, the texture, when you rub your hand along the outside, when you're in the store picking these, Hank, rub your hand across the top right. of that. Feel, feel how it's sort of sticky a little bit? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's a good way of showing that that the sugar's coming out of it. Oh. You see, if it's very slippery, if it's very slippery, yeah. it's going to have a tendency of cutting very hard. Oh. And it's going to be on the greener side. In other words, feel, feel how it's not sliding. Right, feel, okay. Feel, sticky, how, yeah. feel how the watermelon is. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, see? yeah, I see. Now, if, you see okay. how that's sort of got a tendency where your hand is. Wait till I get yeah. that. Wait till I go in the store and I go, I'm so, going to be a professor. You know, with these, don't be afraid to, if you see one with the sugar spotting coming out with the dark sugar spots, that's the sugar coming out of the honeydew. Oh, okay. You know, a lot of people what, feel that that's, that, what do you mean? well, 
You like, see this? Oh, I see it. There's some in the stores that tend to be even more than that. Oh, and okay. that's the ones that would be th at the top of their flavor, see? Okay. Um, this here could use some more ripening. Oh, yeah. Would you like yeah. me to cut this one, too? Yeah, see what it looks like okay. on the inside. Also, I get this. We had a couple paper plates. I put some yeah. over there so it don't go bad. I take this the same you way. Somebody, that way. Some leftover from the, your from honey the ravioli juice. day. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're sitting the All same right. way. All right. And, and, and you cut the same way. Same way. I see, you know. This is the same process. I usually go the other way. Yeah, well, a lot of people yeah. do that. And, and you know. This way it's a lot easier. It's a right. lot easier. You just run that knife. Your knife will run right down along right. that edge. And, again, when you're done, you'll have one piece of fruit. Right. The skin's off. And you can okay. do this with the watermelon also. Okay. Watermelon, you do the same way. You cut on the both ends and just right. run that knife down. And when you're done, you have one big piece right. of fruit. All right. Now I see another stranger over here. Stranger. In oh, tell me about these grapes here. What is so different about this grape? And another grape over there. Well, they there. come from the, or they come from, uh, from Italy. From Shaka. Hey, come from Sicily. See? Hey, hey, good body. See what's so naughty. <laughs> this How about that? This grape is called the Italian grape. Yeah, it tastes one. Now, I'm that thinking. has a seed in it. Yes, this has a seed in it, this oh, grape. Sharp one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, they're, they're in season right around us. um, from the fall. Well, did they make wine with that? No, no, no. This is the eating the grape. This is like the Muscat eating grape. Oh, okay. Now, how about over here? Now, this is called a crimson seedless. This is out of California. And this is a... Um, I see there's two different colors here. Yeah. This is an autumn royal, uh, sort of in the uh, a black grape. Oh, yeah. But this is... These are both seedless grape. Try, try one of these, Hank. Of the loop. I think that the crimson seedless will eat the best. And then we have one more here. Crunchy. Now what's that? This is called a red globe grape. Big in size. Um, one thing that's nice about this is this also has a seed, but this holds seed. up very good oh, in yeah? very good in your refrigerator. When when you buy these, this is the way they'll look a week or two in your refrigerator. And that has a lot of different flavors in it, doesn't it, Hank? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Very good, very tasty grape of the... Uh, and then there's also um, the White Thompson Seedless grape right now. That's uh, It's kind of on the okay. high side right now. now. How about this? What's this guy here? Now... Well, what's this now? This look is... Like, look like a butchie ball. Yeah. Hey, well, a butchie on the butchie ball. <laughs> now, this... Go. This is the Haas avocado, remember now. This yeah. one's from Mexico. Now, this is from Florida. Oh. This is called the... We most uh, likely stole that menu. That's the yeah. uh, seed from over well, there, right? This is uh, actually <laughs> the, um, the Florida avocado has a much different texture than the, um, the Haas avocado. Oh, yeah? Why? Um, Why? What, what, well, I mean, it's, I mean uh, sweet? Is it sweet? Actually, two different... Um, this is more of a Mexican... Um, is it uh, a more of the Mexicans um, prefer this for the guacamole. Uh -huh. And this here is done in more... Guacamole? What's that? Guacamole is when they... It's a song. It's a song. No, no. Guacamole. Oh, that's something else. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's what they, uh, they uh, make a, a salsa with that, a guacamole How's salsa. How's that look like on the inside? Okay. This here... This here is a little it's firm right now, but these have firm. to be, yeah, be yeah. careful. Be careful. How okay. are things in Glockamora? Okay. I caught a little bit of that seed, but oh, okay. This is well, it's uh, the same. That's the way the yeah, uh, now that's that's over there, over there, and that's this is the Haas avocado. Right, I want to show that camera over here. That, okay, now I'm, the share one here. Give me that. See what that. It's really see if you can feel the difference. One's a more softer texture yeah, than yeah, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is harder. Right, right. Okay. And this here, you, you eat the same way, right? Well, um, different, different, um, 
Different nationalities like different ones. Different flavor, right. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, how about, uh, this is a pear. What kind yeah, of pear And now is we're that? getting into our, our fall season. So uh, we have a, a, a lot of uh, pears and apples now. These are out of Washington uh, State. Washington State. Uh, yeah. This is an anjo pear. Uh-huh. Now, these are very good. Uh, it's more on the firmer side, and it will be a... Um, a juicier uh -huh. pear than the, um, this here is a boss pear. Yeah, what's the, the, the difference? Well, I like these. Yeah. I like these. Well, now but this. They have to, but they, you know what I do years ago? I had a pear tree in the back of my house, and I used to get it, and they, we'd get them, and then we'd wrap them in, in paper, and then and, and, and to, let them set, to and ripen then they, them? they would ripen them. Mm -hmm. See, so and that was great. Now, uh, th um, some of the Italians, they, they bake these, and they bake put, them. yeah. You can bake I'm these. I'm Italian. I'm baking. I know. Well, they make a <laughs> wow. dessert out of this with some wine. Oh. So they, they fill a pan up oh. and they set the pear inside the wine like that, oh. and then they'll bake it. And then they have, then the... I wonder, the, red wine or white wine? I it's a red wine. Red wine. Yeah. Red, red wine with meat, white wine with fish, right? Okay, but... Now, wait a minute, let me go. To, will we peel this here? You say, will no, we peel it? Just when, leave it the when, way it when, is. When they're it baking clean, it. And then they, you get a little bit of uh, uh, wine, red wine, put it in there about that deep or so. Yep. And then just, and then you bake it. Yes. And it gets the flavor. And the flavor of the. That's a new tip, okay? Don't, uh, just a little bit of wine. Don't get bombed, okay? <laughs> Not here to teach you how to be bombed. Okay, how about this here? What do we got here? This so, is. Uh, this is the tangerine. Um, this is the sunburst tangerine. Right now, these are just coming into season. These are out of Indian River, Florida. That also is coming in with the the grapefruit. This is a um, a ruby red grapefruit. Oh, I love ruby which red, which is nice and sweet oh, right man. now. Well, that's all right. No problem. This is the ruby red, and then we also have the white grapefruit. Oh, okay. I like both out red. of Indian right. River, but you know, Hank. Yeah. Sometimes these white grapefruit are very much. Sometimes they're as sweet as the pink grapefruit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember if we you used get to put a, sugar on, but I, I yeah. don't put no more sugar. I cut down on sugar and salt, and you know, I got to take it easy on that stuff. And then another another tip is to take the bottom of the grapefruit, and with your knife, just put a triangle into that and this will lift right out and that will take that core out oh okay you got that you, you get see that, that? What we'll we got here we we'll see what he happened there he took it made a little square and pulled it out and got the core it and makes that it a lot will easier that will make it a little easier for the segments of the grapefruit to come out a little easier with with a spoon now how about this well this is a um sort of a harder peeling tangerine but it's, it's the hard. prettiest. Why is summer, summer is soft, but they pull away from, this, uh, from the, the body of the, of the tangerine. Well, it's that's hard. It's hard. What, when, when, the, when the skin is real hard, I mean, it's old. Beaten up. No, no. This huh? new variety now. Oh, okay. See, um, the newer varieties, you know, they're, they're, they're going for appearance. Okay. See how nice and shiny this tangerine yeah. is? Well, of course, that's what, what sells in the store. Oh, you know? okay. Well, what um, they do? Shine them up or put something? No, in no, no. Shine they, oil or something? They have a, a wax that they put on oh, the top okay. of these. Okay. And, um, but this is a, a very good tangerine. And, um, you know, also the clementines are out right now. Oh, the Clementine, seedless man, clementine. That's a song on clementine. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my Hank, darling. Try a piece clementine. Of that? Is that what it came from? Mmm. <laughs> So that is the... That don't have no seeds. Huh? Yeah, one or two. There'll be one or two in there. Mm -hmm. Then we have our apples. Got a large assortment of apples now. Yeah, now show me the different types of apples. Okay. Well, we got a Granny Smith apple. Yeah, show them right there. That camera right there. Show that lady this right is there. a Granny Smith apple. Very good for baking, salads. Um, it's on the, uh, on the tart side. But preferably, they're very good for baking pies. Bacon. Uh, yeah, very good for that. There's a lot of recipe yeah. calls for that. And okay. a lot of people are enjoying them in salads right now. Okay. Okay. How about that apple? 
Um, this is a red delicious apple, which is the traditional. Red, the, red yeah, delicious. It's a sweet apple. Very good. Now, all these apples I got, this one's out of uh, Washington State. And uh, this one here, we're using local apples from New York State right now. Oh, and this is a Macintosh apple. Oh, Macintosh. Now, this is a little on the softer side. Oh, okay. Some people like that, um, you know, the softer yeah, apple. Yeah, on yeah that. it all depends what kind of teeth you got. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes you bite into it and your teeth go with it. So um, you don't want that. At our store, we carry. I like this, the white. Yeah. Right. At our store, I think. Uh, the Golden Delicious is our number one seller right now. Yeah. Um, we deal with a, um, a um, apple farm up in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The, try to stay so local as the, possible. Well, I do. I, try to do. I do try to support the local farmers. Right. Right. This is in Aspen, Aspen, Pennsylvania. Okay. And, but these are from old tree. This is an old-fashioned... Golden Delicious with has great flavor and really amazing how nice that these how's that? Good. Good. Very good eating. So I try to stick with the, the local apple. And now we got a new um, new apple in that's sort of new new on the scene. It's a honey crisp. Honey. Honey that crisp. One? Now um, the honey crisp, I didn't, uh, I didn't have one okay. here today, but um, the honey crisp is one of the newer apples. It's relatively expensive in the stores. Okay, it's about a so dollar, dollar fifty okay. a pound. Right. You'll see them in a the store, but at our store, we're we're under a dollar a pound. We're about um, four pound for two fifty. Uh, four. Well, I know pound. your prices yeah. are good. I mean, I, I go uh, there. Well, and we. Uh, we feel, in these, we feel in these economy times that, you know... Uh, we want to help the people, right? We want to help the people. It's uh, tough times right now out there. Right. All right, now, how about these flowers? Now, you grow your own flowers. Yes. You have a, your own, your own uh, hothouses. We're down in... Down uh, in Georgetown, Delaware. Um, we have a small farm down there. And um, we grow... Uh, we have uh, five greenhouses down there. Five greenhouses. Okay. Uh, uh, so, how about this guy here? Oh, that's a kiwi. Oh, <laughs> where'd that again. come from? Well, this is from New Zealand. New Zealand? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we had somebody here from uh, Ikea. They were from Norway. Now, Norway and, and Sweden, you know. Again, look at the color in that. Oh my God. And people wonder how to eat here. Well, yeah, I don't know. I well, don't know. I would. Again, I like to do the same way. Okay. If, if you want, you can get that knife and go right along. Mm. Same way that you would do the bigger fruit. Oh. And then this is nice to make a, a fruit one. salad. Eat just like go. that. Here you go. Yep. Mm. Nice. See when you uh, at our store, you can come, come in. I never, I never ate one of them. You know, I always see them, but it's there. You know. But that's great. Yeah, well, it's nice when you're mixing everything right. together in the fruit salad. It, oh, no, I, I see, yeah. You know, it really, really uh, comes alive. With the points, so let's get back to right. um, flowers. The, the flowers. You know, now we're coming into the Christmas season. This is the poinsettia. Right. Now we have about um, three or four different um, sizes right. of them. We have some for the table, some for uh, the churches. Oh, okay. You know, so we have a bunch, and this is the Thanksgiving mum. So, um, oh, 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 that, oh, I see this, uh, the color. Of, uh, yeah, you that? see, this is that. more of the, the Thanksgiving mum. The orange these is the here, color. We have these at our store at uh, two for seven dollars now on them. Right. So, we see we're keeping the prices down on the poinsettias. We have that. Right, let me ask you a question now the poinsettia. The, it, 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 you keep it in the house, and it, it, sometimes the, you know, too much heat or what? What's a scoop on it? Keep well, it away from they the can't radiator. get too cold. Yeah. Okay. They, they, they can't get too cold because the, the, the leaves will fall off. Oh, okay. But um, taking but can, care can of properly. It? Can I plant that? Well, that's more of an indoor flower. Oh, okay. But taken care of properly, it can live throughout the whole winter. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we got here? Now, this is it's a. a this is a Maradol <laughs> papaya. 
Wait, well, we'll run that by me again here. What is Maridol that? papaya. Okay. okay. Tell, tell that camera over there. Yeah. What is it? A Maridol papaya. All right, papa. Now, this is another... Um, my papa. This is another um, Eddie Fisher sang tropical. Sang. Ooh. This that is looks another like, tropical. Um, uh, what is it? That looks like at... Um, caviar. Caviar. Yeah. Yeah. But You could fool people who say it's caviar. Yeah, I don't think sure. you're a big deal. But with this here... Do you eat the seeds? Are they um, seeds? Well, this is almost eaten like a cantaloupe. Here, I can shave a piece off for you. See? And then also you can cut a little slice. Look, and just run that knife underneath. There you go. What Good. do you think of that, huh? I know, I'm trying to figure out it between them. Between a cantaloupe. But Can you know what? When you put good food and you go like this, that means your food is good. You lock it in so it don't go out. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Our half hour is over. How about a watermelon here? Just well, everybody knows about a watermelon. Okay. Yeah. How do I, if I want to do it? What do I do? Just hit it. Well, you got to look for the um, uh, more hollow sound when you're when you're thumping on the watermelon. Just make sure it's nice and solid. Oh, and make sure it's solid. That, okay. That um, hollow Basically, sound. Wait, well, that. we got everything here. Okay. And I just want to give you a little uh, thank you for being on my show here. And uh, your, this show will be on Comcast and uh, Verizon, okay? And thank we you, cover Hank. Delaware County, Montgomery County, the whole bit. Comcast 28, Verizon 45, okay? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 o'clock, all right? Plymouth Produce. So, and yeah. Now, where you, where, where, where's your store? Plymouth Produce, Norristown, Pennsylvania. Right. Right there, Logan Square, where the studio's going to be, right? Phone number 610-239-9650. And you'll get food from all over the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, stop. Come to Norristown, and we have it. You won't see it anyplace else, but you'll see it in Norristown. Plymouth Produce, okay? And, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for allowing us to come in and uh, wish you a Merry Christmas, happy food. Manja, 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 okay? Anthony, grazie. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And we All also right. have a full deli also for them. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got deli. We got, uh, got Zepps over there. We got everything. Papa Luigi's, Baccalao. They got uh, all kinds of cookies, Italian cookies. All right? So get ready for the Christmas. Ready. Alabanza. Ready. Thank you very much.